teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po, at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema! Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello and good afternoon everyone. My name is Tutor Jester and I'll be with you from 1.40 until 2.20 in the afternoon and this is your ETLA online tutorial for English 2. We are on the third um, week 6 of quarter 3. Our topic for this afternoon is major points and key terms. I will be your substitute tutor for Tutor Jennifer. May naasikaso lamang po si Tutor Jennifer. We are heard live and loud in the different Facebook and YouTube pages of the Department of Education. All right, so for this um, quarter three, week six, our um, objective is you are to identify major points and key themes. Again, that's uh, you, are to, you are to identify major points and key themes. Thames. Ayan, pang grade 2 po ito ha, watching from Matapat of Santo Domingo Elementary School, Minalin Pampanga. That's Mikayla Tessery Pineda. Good afternoon, Bunsa. Okay, for your previous lesson you got here, the retelling of events or the story. We all know that retelling events is a skill which we use regularly, such as telling someone about our day or weekend. It is a difficult task and it requires many smaller skills that should be developed first. Now, in retelling events, you have to remember or you are to act out all important events, but it would be better if you can still remember the entire 
story. Good afternoon, Gabriel Allen Escobedo, Denise Lorraine Basilan, Sean Alinco Studio, Jamila Matuan, Janus, Jaime Visto, Ma'am uh, C. Erin Miranda. Good afternoon, Tutor Jester. I'm from grade two, Masino Mahada Out Elementary School in Calamba City, Laguna. Good afternoon, and thank you so much for keeping in touch with our e online tutorial. Don't you worry, Tutor Jennifer will be with you by next week. <laughs> All right. We have here a story. We are to read it, and afterwards, we are to choose the best answer for each question. I am a warm up activity tayo, learners. Are you ready? All right, and this is entitled Hamburger Sunday. Wow, I'm hungry, huh? Hamburger Sunday. Let me read it with you. Michelle and her friends have hamburgers every Sunday night for dinner. She helps her friend Lily prepare the buns. When the ham is done, Michelle sets the table. Everyone enjoys the delicious hamburgers. Again, it's Hamburger Sunday. Michelle and her friends have hamburgers every Sunday night for dinner. She helps her friend Lily prepare the buns. When the ham is done, Michelle sets the table. Everyone enjoys the delicious Hamburgers. Good afternoon for Joffy Aronzen Perez from Don Leon Martinez Memorial Elementary School. Watching from Olongas Pro City. That's uh, Mam Judith Santos. Kanina si Christine Perez. Robert Lee Reyes. Good afternoon. Now, we have here the question. Number one, what do Michelle and her friends eat on Sundays? What do Michelle and her friends eat on Sundays? Is it A, hot dog? Hmm. B, is it hamburger? Or C, fries? Wow, makes me hungry, huh? Those foods are really delicious. What do Michelle and her friends eat on Sundays? Is it A, hot dog? B, hamburger? Or C, fries? What is your answer? The answer of Denise's letter B, same as with Shakina Hart, as well as uh, um, the answer of Fatima. Neri's answer as well. Ayan, Neri. Ki Erin, letter C po. Ki Mikaela, letter B. Okay, let's reveal the answer. It's indeed letter B, hamburger. All right, let's proceed with the second one. What do Michelle and Lily prepare? What do Michelle and Lily prepare? Ano do yung hinanda, pinakandaan? Ano do yung hinanda? Ni Michelle and ni Lily. Based on the story that we have read a while ago, is it A, hot dog, B, sauce, or C, buns? What do Michelle and Lily prepare? Is it A, hot dog, B, sauce, or C, buns? What do you think is the answer for this? According to Shakina Hart, Manaloto, it's letter C. Watching from Lanao. Lanao team, we got Mom Alma Kalibo. Good afternoon from all the way from Bicol, huh? And Lanao as well. Good afternoon, po. From Mikaela, it's letter C. It's Neri's answer, letter C also. Gallagher, you answered letter C as well. According to Jamila, letter C, po. It's Buns. All right, let's reveal the answer. It's indeed letter C, Buns. Clap for those who got correctly. <laughs> for number three, what does Michelle do? cooking the ham what does michelle do after cooking the ham is it a they eat or it's b they set the table or sets the table or c they went home or goes home what is the answer for this according to fatima it's b to errands b also to nary b again b b b po <laughs> according to the rhymer wow gallagher it's b again very active participative, huh? really, huh? To go then, it's letter V. Janice, it's letter V as well. To rhyme, it's B as well, huh? All right, let's reveal the answer for this. It's indeed letter B, they set the table. Now, let us remember that in major points and key themes, every story has different elements. It has characters. Hindi mo yung characters as well as yung settings 
and events. Yung character, kung sino yung mga tauhan bumubuo sa kwento. Yung settings naman, yung time, at yung place kung saan nga ba naganap yung story. And of course, yung event, yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng ating story. The significant details play important roles in understanding the story. Kung wala yan, kung wala yung mga elements sa yan, aba kulang yung ating story, di ba? Hindi natin mabubuo fully. We, weren't, we, will, we won't be able to get or grasp the idea of the story fully. So that's why the setting, the character, events, are really important in our story. Aside from this, story elements, stories also give specific major points and key themes. As a reader, it is necessary that you are able to identify the major points and key theme shown in the story. So our main concern for this afternoon is all about yung major points and key themes. Tungkol saan nga ba yung ating story na binabasa? Ayan. Opo, according to Iris Sullivan, very good. Ha? You are really part you are really participative. Ha? Nakikinig talaga. Ha? Attentive din. Fatima Zuhara Cruz, okay po. Matthew Lawrence, you have answered the correct one a while ago. Thank you so much. According to Reimer, Opo then thank you so much too. The major point or main idea is the main point of a paragraph in a story. Now, when summarize, when summarizing a paragraph, it is most likely a one-sentence major point. Meanwhile, the key themes are facts or statements that bind the main ideas of the story. They provide the central idea of the whole story. So, in other words, mga bata, when we are getting the major points and key themes, we're just um, getting the most significant or yung pinaka-importanting detail doon sa ating story na binasa or pinabasa. Yung pinaka-importante, yung pinakamahalaga, tungkol saan ba talaga yung story na binabasa natin? Hindi na kailangan paligulibuy pa. Kumbaga, direct to the point. Ah, okay, so I have uh, read already the main points or the major points and key theme of the story. So ito na yun. Ano? Madali naman ma-distinguish yan eh. All right. In every story, our goal is to get or understand its major point. Tama si Tutor Jester. In coming up with a key theme, you have to take note of the major or the main ideas. Yung central or yung main idea ang hinahanap pa rin natin. All right. So let's proceed with our activity for the first one. We got the story entitled The Studious Pupil. Are you studious? Kayo ba ay pala-aral na bata? Dapat, ha? Ako nung ako'y nag-aaral pa lamang, ako'y uh, grade 2, katulad ninyo. Aba, napapalo ako pag hindi ako nag-aaral. May oras, sa, may oras para mag-aral. May oras para maglaro. So, pagbigyan natin ng ating mga magulang, mga mag-aaral, ha? We need to be studious. Para din sa future natin yan. Okay? So let's proceed with our first story. I wait, by the way, aalamin natin later on, what is the major theme of this story, ha? Ano yung key point nito? Aalamin natin. The studious pupil. Anthony is a studious pupil. He performs well in school. He gets good grades in almost all of his subjects. In school, he listens well to his teacher. He also actively participates in class discussions. Very good, huh? At home, he reads a lot of books during his free time. He also does his assignments. He prepares his projects before the deadline. He studies well to serve as a good example to other pupils. He also wants to achieve his dreams someday. <laughs> Ganun ba tayo lahat? Hindi lang porke makabasa ka, eh, nanonood sa atin ng ating magulang para picturean tayo ng ating magulang para isend sa mga amigo or amiga. No. We must be studious all the time. We need to show it. Ipakita natin, not only ipakita pala, pero dapat buong puso tayong nag-aaral. Ganun dapat mga mag-aaral ha. You're right, Sebastian Dre Nicodemus and also Fatima Ganon din po ako. Ayan, very good, eh? All right, so for our activity... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, let's proceed. Oh, wait, wait lang, ha? Nagkaroon tayo ng konting um, um, technical problem. By the way, what do you think is the major point or the key theme 
of our um, story or yung ating paragraph. That what? That online, sige nga. What do you think is the main point or the key theme of our uh, paragraph here? That Anthony is a studious pupil. Very good online. You did it. <laughs> All right, let's proceed to the next one. This one is entitled, My Cat. Now, <laughs> I have a cat named Fluffy. I taught her lots of tricks. When I call her, she comes to me immediately. She also manages or she also mass massages my back, even if I don't tell her to. When I say sleep, hey, sleep cat, she will close her eyes and pretend to be sleeping. Hmm, how cute. <laughs> I couldn't believe that a cat like her would be that smart. Again, we can add story, yeah. My cat. I have a cat named Floppy. I taught her lots of tricks. When I call her, she comes to me immediately. She also massages my back, even if I don't tell her to. When I say slip, she will close her eyes and pretend to be slipping. I couldn't believe that a cat like her would be that smart. Meron din ba kayong alaga na katulad ni nung pusa na yun? All right. So what is the question for number one? Let's answer. What is the major point of the paragraph? What do you think is the major point of the paragraph? Oh, by the way, pwede nyo itong i-share it. I-share, share, share, ha? Para makita natin yung share, share batch. <laughs> and share this um, video para mas maabot, mas maraming maabot ng ating uh, online discussion. We are grade 2, English 2, okay? Very good learners. So what do you think is the major point of the paragraph? Is it A, floppy as a cat? Huh? B, floppy can do tricks. Or C, floppy is smart. What do you think is the answer? According to Shakina, 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 <laughs> it's letter C po, sir, letter C po. According to Fatima, it's A. Sebastian Drenicodemus, it's A. Alessandra, you got C. Go then also, Fatima, A. Wow. <laughs> All right, so let's reveal the answer for number one. It's indeed letter C. It's all about Floppy is a smart cat. <laughs> Do you have a smart cat too? Ayan. Alagaan natin ng mga pusa, ha? Kung nakikita tayo ng mga pusa, huwag natin basta sila papaluin. Wala naman silang ginagawa sa atin, di ba? We need to pet them. Pero sa tingin nyo, harmful yung cat, aba, wag naman. Okay? There should be a supervision from your parents pa rin. Great to learners. Tandaan. All right. You got a correct answer. Zoe, Villanueva, Aina Bakani, Tutor Jessica, Iris Sullivan, Gabriel, Escovido, uh, Iris Sullivan. Yeah, you got it correctly. Very good, huh? Uh, yeah, Rhymer, sorry. However, for the next item, you will be able to give the correct answer for sure. So number two, what is the best key theme of this story? What is the best key theme of the story? Is it A, cats are smart animals? Or B, cats are tricky animals? Or C, cats are sleepy animals. What do you think is the answer for this? What is the best key theme of the story? A, cats are smart animals. B, cats are tricky animals. Or C, cats are sleepy animals. <laughs> All right. Oh, you got uh, letter A number for number two, Shikina. Yeah. Sebastian, A also. All right. <laughs> So it's indeed letter A. We all know that cats are smart animals. Matatalino talaga ang mga pusa, ng mga alaga natin pusa, ano? Madiskarte sila, di ba? And there are lots of instances that our cats are really smart. Okay. Learning task two. Read each paragraph. Then identify what each item tells. Okay, let's proceed with our learning task two. Number one, carabaos. Help farmers in plowing the field. They give us milk and meat. The story or the line is all about what? Is it A, it's all about farmers, B, carabaos, or C, mitts? By the way, class, ano ba ibig sabihin ng plowing? Yung tumutulong sa? Saan? 
sa ating sakahan, di ba? At katulong ng ating mga farmer, ang ating mga, ang, ang mga kalabaw sa pagkakaroon natin ng ating mga food, specifically yung ating kanin. Because of them, because of our farmer and yung ating, yung ating animal na kalabaw, um, nakakaroon tayo ng ating mga kinakain na food, di ba? Not only the rice, but also yung mga crops din, di ba? Kaya maraming salamat sa ating magigiting na farmer. And speaking of farmer, isa sila sa ating pinarangalan last uh, um, May 1, ng Labor Day. Saludo po kami sa inyong tapang at galing para sa atin. Alright, so going back with number one, carabaos help farmers in flowing the field. They give us milk and uh, meat. The story is about what? Is it A, farmers, B, carabao, or C, meats? According to Ma'am Christine, it's letter B. Huh, you got the answer, B, rhymer. Bipo, ay, ang daming sagot ni Rhymer. Very good, ha? Very nice, ha? Share mo. Don't forget to share this, ha? To Lewis Aldrich, letter B po. And it's C. It's indeed all about the carabaos. Salamat sa, sa ating mga animal na carabao. Kanilang talino din, eh. Not only the cats, but actually naman, yung ating mga animal, meron din silang isip, ano, talagang napapakinabangan natin sila. Huwag natin silang papaluin pag nakikip natin sila, ha? Ayan. Ipet natin sila, ika nga. Ayan. Alright, let's proceed with the second one. Emma and Roy go to school every day. After school, they help their parents in doing household chores. Emma washes the dishes while Roy sweeps the floor. The paragraph is about the blank. Look natin. Emma and Roy go to school every day. After school, they help their parents in doing household chores. Emma washes the dishes uh, while Roy sweeps the floor. The paragraph is about the blank. Is it A, honest children? B, helpful children? Or C, polite children? According to Kyle, it's letter B. According to Jet, it's B also. To Kyle, yeah. To what? Is it a Korean name? Wow. And yung asyo. Primer B fade. You got B. Gauden B. Denise. It's B also. Let's reveal the answer. It's indeed all about being a helpful children. Kaya ba yung yan mga bata? Bukod sa pagiging honest at sa pagiging polite natin, napakahalaga bilang isang mga bata na katulad niyo na maging helpful children. Ay, oo, honest ako, matapat akong bata. Pero, class, mga mag-aaral, we need to be helpful din. But naging matulungin tayo, not only sa kakilala natin, ano, but specifically to everyone. And particularly, sa loob ng bahay natin, katulad na lamang ng pandemya na kinakaharap natin, it is our chance to help our parents. It is, ha- it is our chance para magpakitang gila sa kanila. Diba? Mag, uh, yung simple yung paglilikpit ng mga hinigan natin, that is really a big help to our parents. So, po ako sa inyo, mamaya or bukas pagkagising, tulong na kina mama at papa. Huwag pasaway ha. Natulong po ako sa mama ko. That's coming from Gabriel. Very good. Iris, you got also the correct answer. As well as the answer of Erin, Zoe, Iris, and there are lots of Shooties were able to give the correct answer. Kung hindi naman, okay lang yan. Marami pa mga items na susunod. Alright. Now, let's proceed with another one. This is entitled, The Bats. Ano bang bats sa Tagalog? Paniki, di ba? Paniki, or yung bats. Some kind of bats eat many insects. Some bats can eat up to... 1,000 small insects in one hour. Can you imagine that? They are helpful to the environment. They help us by eating insects. Without them, we would have many insects in the environment. The bats. Some kinds of bats eat many insects. Some bats can eat up to 1,000 small insects in one hour. They are helpful to the environment. They help us by eating insects. Without them, we would have many insects in the environment. So, ano kaya? <laughs> Tungkol saan kaya ito? It's indeed all about the bats. And 
additional information lang ha. Ano bang bats? Ito ba ay bird or mammal? Ha. It is indeed a mammal. Correct me if I'm wrong ha. It's mammal. Okay? Although it's flying, it's still it's a mama. All right, kabag daw sa Visaya. Here in Batangas, we um we call it as we call it as kabag then. Yeah, here in Batangas. Yeah. As tutor, I hate po insect. Ayan, kaya meron tayong bat na tumutulong para sa ecosystem natin. Ano? Uh, ako din naman, uh, pero itong mga insects na to, sino ba ito? Si, uh, uh, huh? si, o oh, sino man, although we are hating insects, nakatutulong naman sila para mabalanse ang ating uh, ang system na tinatawag. Ano? Pero not all, kaya nga meron mga other animals na kumakain sa kanila para mabalanse. Diba? Katulad na lamang ng bats. Okay. Now, let's have question number one. What is the major point of the story? Is it A, bats are mammals? B, bats can eat up to 1,000 insects in one hour? Or C, bats help in controlling the population of insects? What is the major point of the story? Islagay niya yung mga kasagutan. A, Bats are mammals. B. Bats can eat up to 1,000 insects in one hour. Or C. Bats help in controlling the population of insects. So what do you think is the answer? According to Gallagher, it's letter C. Sebastian, C also po. Letter B po, according to Neri. Yeah. Also, the answer of... Mabilis ang ating mga chat box. Thank you so much for keeping in touch. Aina, it's letter C. Fatima, it's letter C as well. To Gowden, C also. To Denise, you got C as well. Good. So, what is the answer for this? It's indeed letter C. Bats help in controlling the population of insects. Not only the bats, ano, but meron din mga ibang mammal na talagang pumakain ng mga insects para makontrol yung pagdami, makontrol yung population ng ating mga insects. Halimbawa na din ay yung uh, frog, di ba? We all know that frogs eat yung mga mosquitoes din, di ba? Yung mga stories na, na nababasa natin, ng mga facts na katulad niya. Okay, number two. What is the key theme of this story? What is the key theme of the story? Is it A, bats eating habits? Ha. Huh. B, bats favorite food? Or C, bats contribution? To nature, what do you think is the answer for this? Huh? All right. Answer of Kyle is letter C. Oy, um, online uh, students, online viewers, kindly key in naman, i-type nyo naman kung saan school kayo para hindi naman magtampong inyong mga school, di ba? Para ma-acknowledge natin kung saan school kayo kabilang. Matutuwa pa si na, ano, si na teacher at si principal. Ayan. <laughs> okay, the answer of Aina is letter C. Let's reveal the answer, Mama. Yeah, according to Jamalin, it's letter A. Po, wow, sabang school kayo. Sige nga, ito yung nga dito. Ayan. Okay, letter C. Po, letter C din po ang sagot ko. According to Jessica, oy, not only mga students ang nagsasagot. Nakita ko dito sa profile picture nila. Also, this, the parents and teachers nagsasagot sa atin. Marami pong salamat sa pagpapatronize at pag, uh, pakikisa sa ating online tutorial. Feel free to share this video. At sa lahat ng ating mga itulay um, video, tutor, uh, video tutorial natin. Watching from Agoncillo San Juan West Central School, San Juan Batangas. It's Cal Francisco the second. Thank you so much, ha? Ano pala ng teacher mo? Supposed Elim po si China Glenn Riego. Watching from Makabalong Elementary Division, Cagayan de Oro City, it's Sawaira Datud Kula. Yeah, uh, yeah, you got it correctly. Yeah. Jamalin Acuna A po. Mm, let's see. Let's reveal the answer later on. Bati muna tayo from Baliwag North Central School, Baliwag North District SDO Bulacan. It's Dalilia Tadeo. Wow, very good. So, the answer for number two is indeed letter C, bats contribution to 
nature. Ayan. Very active and uh, participative ang ating mga mag-aaral. Talaga nga naman, ha? Okay. Alright. Oh, wait, wait lang. Okay. There you go. There you go. Now, cold weather. One day, Hannah walked outside with her small pink jacket, but even if she was wearing one, she still felt very cold. She looked at her phone and noticed that it was 15 degrees outside. It was indeed cold due to a mihan. She was chilling, so she decided to go back inside. Well, if not then, cold weather. Sa Baguio, maraming nasa Baguio na mga learners at this moment. Salamat sa mga Baguio learners natin. You guys are very lucky to have a cold weather even if it is a summer na napakainit. One day, Hannah walked outside her small pink jacket. But even if she was wearing one, she still felt very cold. She looked at her phone and noticed that it was, oh, 15 degrees outside. Ang lamig. It was indeed cold due to Amihan. She was chilling. So, she decided to go back inside. Now, let's proceed with the questions. Yeah. What is the major point of this story? What do you think is the major point of our story? Online learners, kind of key in your answers. Watching for from SDO Aliaga Annex, Santa Monica Elementary School. That's Rosita Constantino Pakunayan. Next lang na tuloy ako. Geofe Aronson Perez, Don Leon Martinez Memorial Elementary School ba ito? From Balayan, Batangas. That's Christine Perez. Ay, naalala ko sa Balayan. Sa... Ano ba? Ano ba yan? <laughs> Set Gimba. Nga ba isiya? It's Amy Gimpal. So the answer of Rhymer is letter A. According to John Malin po, it's letter B po, sir. Uh, Denise, it's letter A po. Shakina, A, as well as Simon's answer, or Skyle's answer. Aina's answer is indeed A also. Yan. For number three, A po. Kay Lewis, very nice, ha? very active and participative. To Elaka, it's A. To Fatima, it's A also. Yan. A, very cold outside. She wore pink jacket. Or C, Hannah went outside with her friends. Our answer for number three is indeed letter A. Oi, you got it correctly. Very good. Okay, number four. What is the key theme of this story? Is it A, cold weather makes us sleepy? Hmm. B, cold weather tells us to wear jacket. Or C, cold weather prevents us from going outside. Is it A, B, or C? What is your answer for this? According to Kyle's letter C, Jessica, it's C. Jomalins, Jomalins. <laughs> Jomalin, what is your answer? I cannot uh, distinguish it. Yeah. Uh-huh, it's Jessica's answer is letter C. Very good, huh? So I write it's letter B. Let's see, let's reveal the answer later on. Oh, yeah. Elaka is C. Yeah, let's see. The answer for number four is indeed letter C. That cold weather prevents us from going outside. Kapag pag malamig ang panahon, better stay at home, di ba? Kasi makaka-chill pa tayo, makasakit pa tayo, di ba? When I was in Baguio, Last week, I opted to go outside kapag uh, gabi kasi it's really cold, talagang napakalamig sa lugar na yon. Kaya, I followed. Yung mga protocol, syempre, I followed it, yung health protocols against COVID-19. Pero, syempre, malamig nga. So, I decided in myself na magstay talaga kasi nga, maaring mahamugan ako at matrigger, magkalagdat pa ako. So, I decided to follow what should be followed. Okay. Now, let's have here in your notebook, i-ready nga ang inyong mga notebook. Katabi na ba ang inyong mga notebook, mga mag-aaral? Kunin niya ang inyong mga notebook dyan. Katabi niyo na ba? <laughs> May lapis na ba? Hindi lang itong cellphone ha. Hindi lang laptop or tablet ang hawak. Huwag natin kakalimutan mga mag-aaral. 
yung ating mga lapis at module. Sasagutan din natin yan. Kaya please, make sure that your notebook, your pen and paper, or your module is are with you. Katabi na dapat. In your notebook, complete the paragraph by selecting your answers from the choices below. Write your answers in your notebook. And choices natin, mga mag-aaral, elements, major points, and key things. Basahin natin. The blank of a story deal with what the story is all about. Meanwhile, the blank explain the central idea that the story tells. These two blank are both important in understanding a story or selection. Doon sa, well, doon sa iba yung module nila, pwede nyong mag-copy kayo ha, pwede nyong sulatin, pati yung directions ninyo. Kasi, di ba, in this pandemic uh, times, di ba, puro tayo gadgets, nakakalimutan na natin magsulat. Para mahasa ang ating skill sa pagsulat, sig nga, grade 2. Alam ko marurunong na kayo magsulat dyan. Ayan. Punto ko ng kakamali, when I was grade 2, that was year 1997, ganun na katagal. Grade 2 kami, tinuruan na kami magsulat ng kabit-kabit. Di ba? Ayan. So sana, um, uh, yeah, it's very challenging ngayon para makapagturo. Pero for sure, hindi kayo sinusukuan ng inyong mga magulang patuloy kayong ginagabayan at tinuturoan nila kahit sila ay mahirapan still they are doing their best para matuto kayong bumasa para matuto kayong sumulat di ba nung grade 1 kayo tinuruan kayo last uh, school year hindi sila sumuko ngayon sama-sama kami mga guro mga magulang ating pagtulungan kabataan ay turuan natin di ba ayun nga sa kanta ng ating itulay all right so, eto nga, sige nga, ulitin natin. In your notebook, complete the paragraph by selecting your answers from the choices below. Write your answers in your notebook. Elements, major points, or key themes. So, for number one, the blank of a story deal with what the story is all about. Meanwhile, the blank explains the central idea that a story tells. Three, these two blank are important, are both important in understanding a story or selection. May makasagot na ating mga online learners. Very good, ha? According to Shekina, number one is major points. According to Jamalin, elements, key teams, and major points. To Janice, it's key teams for number two. Very good. To Dalia, yan, wala ang kayo sagot to Dalia. Dalia Estadeo's answer for number one, it's major point. Two, it's key teams. Three is element. Yes. Kyle, Simon Garcia, major point, key teams, and elements. Very good. Talagang active na active. So let's reveal the answers. For number one, major points. Sino nakakuha ng tamang sagot? Taas ang kamay. Ayan. Press one nga kung sino nakakuha ng tamang sagot. For number one, major points. Uy, ang dami. Very good, ha? For number two, it's the key teams. Very good. <laughs> Tama sagot mo, Denise. You're right. Also, the answer of Kyle Francisco, the second. Sinulat ko po ang sagot. Very good, ha? Ang galing naman ni uh, Gauden, Liam Santos. Sige nga, picturean mo nga. Isend mo nga kay Tutor Jester na Facebook account. Search mo lang Jester Pagkaliwagan. I-PM mo nga para makita ni Tutor Jester. Para ma-acknowledge kita. Very good, ha? Gauden, ha? Tama ba, Gauden? For number three, it's elements. So we got major points, key themes, and the elements. So basahin natin fully. Sabay-sabay tayo. In one or in five, four, three, two, one. The major points of a story deal with what the story is all about. Meanwhile, the key themes explain the central idea that a story tells. These two elements are both important in understanding a story or selection. All right. Thank you so much to those who uh, participated. You got three over three. Taka three over three ba kayo? According to 
Jessica. She was able to get three over three. Dahil Jan, you have a virtual clap from Sir Jester. Very good. Wow. Yeah. Right here, the statement is true. And F, if the statement is indeed false. Anyway, we... Uh, okay. So, meron yung konting um, binalik last week. However, thank you so much for being with Sir Jester. Thank you so much for being with Sir Jester. And of course, maraming salamat din kay Trooper Jennifer for your, um, this opportunity. Makasama ang ating mga online uh, learners na grade 2. For sure, masayang masaya si Trooper Jennifer now, you are really active and very participative this afternoon. Kaya naman, bigyan natin muli kayo ng masigabang panakpakan, grade 2 English learners. Magsama-sama tayo muli for next week, ha? Kasama pa rin ang inyong, si, kasama na pa rin, syempre, si Tutor Jennifer for Choose English Day, grade 2. Ito po, si Tutor Jester, please, 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 grade 2 learners, be a studious individual. Goodbye. Thank you so much. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine social media accounts. Paalam!